In a previous tutorial, we talked about how to calculate the expected return for security. So in that case, we had different states of the world, and we just took a weighted average in order to find the expected return of the stock. Now, what happens if we have a portfolio of stocks? We have, in this case, I have an example where I have three stocks. I've worked out the expected returns for each one of those stocks. Now I'd like to know, what's the expected return for my portfolio? Well, it turns out that the expected return for the portfolio is just a weighted average of the expected returns of the stocks that are in the portfolio. So let me write that down here. It's going to be the expected return of the portfolio is going to be equal to, and let's just sum up from i equals 1 to n, and it's the number of stocks, and it's going to be wi times the expected return of i. Now, wi is the percentage of the portfolio that's invested in stock i. How do we get that? Well, it's, it's a percentage of the total value of the portfolio. So here I have some numbers. It'll be easier just looking at, at the actual numbers here. Here I have three stocks. One is worth $100. We have $100 worth of stock. We have 600 and we have 300 If I were to add those all up, I would get $1,000. So what's the weight? The weight is going to be, for the first stock, 100 divided by 1,000, which is 0 0.10. Stock A makes up 10% of the portfolio. The second stock is 600 divided by the total value of the portfolio, which is 1,000. 0 0.60 and the last stock is 300 divided by 1000 which is 30 percent and if you add these up these should add up to 1.0 that is a hundred percent of the uh, securities make up the portfolio so let's just calculate this it's very easy to do So the first stock is 10%, and the expected return is 10%, so 0 0.10 times 10%, plus 60% times the expected return of the second stock, which is 16%, plus 0 0.30 times the expected return of the third stock, 7%. So let's see, 10% of 10 is... 1, and so we don't mess up, let's use the calculator, 16% times 0 0.6 is 9.6, and 30% of 7 should be 2.1, so let's just add that up, plus 1, and then plus 2.1, and so we have an expected return for this portfolio of 12.7%. And again, let's ask ourselves, does it make sense? Look at the numbers. It can't be lower than 7%, nor can it be higher than 16%. It is, in fact, in between those two, so it's a reasonable number. And then you want to ask yourself, you know, how reasonable is it? Well, the 10% isn't too important. It's a very small part of the portfolio. Um, the largest portion is made up of the stock, stock B, that has a 16% return. And even though C has a 7% return, which is rather low, because B has such a high return, you would expect it to be um, probably above 10%. So 16% seems reasonable. And again, always ask yourself, do the, do the, does my answer seem reasonable? Now, sometimes we'll do calculations that don't seem correct intuitively, but most of the time they will. And if you get something that's ridiculous, like a, a re expected return 
that's less than 7% or greater than 16%, you did something wrong. So you always want to keep testing your intuition and making sure that whatever answer you get makes sense. In the uh, next tutorial, I'll show you how to calculate the variance for the for the uh, for a portfolio.